everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. I'm doing a final walkthrough of my client's new home over here in Arroyo's Edge by TriPoint Homes, which is a new construction community here in Summerlin, part of the Red Point Village. And um, yeah, so hopefully I can be able to do things. They got the plan too. This was lot 35, which is along the Arroyo. And this plan has 21, 26 square feet, three to four bedrooms. You could have three bedrooms in a loft or three bedrooms in a den or just four bedrooms, two and a half to three baths. So we're gonna go take a peek and this should be complete. I like how that they got the epoxy flooring done, your fire sprinkler, your sprinkler system, and then also a nice tankless water heater. And it's plumbed for a water softener as well. So they're all trying to wrap things up and get the house ready to close this Thursday. Uh -huh. By the time I post this video, it's probably already have this closed. So when you walk in, plan two, I like this plan because as you look straight, you have um, views. But this side right here could either be a den as it's modeled in the model home, or it could be a bedroom. Now when my clients bought this home, they bought it a few months ago um, and everything was already specced out. They bought it before the model homes were done. They bought it before the community actually opened. They were doing a lot of what's called VIP list um, selling ahead of time. Price wise, I'm not sure what the going price is right now, but I think the total price of this home with all the upgrades was over 700,000. So this is your full bath because you have a full bedroom with the, looks like a one inch quartz countertops, the white shaker cabinets, and then the builder grade tub shower insert. I like that. But I like all the black fixtures, all the black matte hardware. So when you do final walkthroughs, you come in and you mark things up with blue tape or sometimes you have green tape and the green tape means it's a structural issue. Excuse me. Then you have this nice closet that goes all the way to the end. And then. The reason I like the plan too, especially on the Arroyo, is because as you walk in the front door, you can see the nice views. So this was, all these options were selected. My buyer didn't get to select any of these options, but whoever selected them did an awesome job at selecting the options. Let's turn on some lights. There you go, much better. So in here is your living room and you have your Smurf tubing right here. Looks like they still got a lot of touch up to do for the next two days. And the 12 foot double slider. They went with the beautiful white shaker cabinets, the nice two and a quarter inch, I do believe, yep, two and a quarter inch quartz countertops. I like this quartz veining. And then they went with the champagne kind of hardware here which is nice, and then you got the white basin sink with the champagne hardware as well. And this version, the appliance package, was the oven with a microwave. And this is a nice oven with the griddle and the five, six burner oven. And then the little pantry. Now my client spent a little extra money on the appliances when it came to the washer and dryer and the refrigerator because of the delays and everything they thought it would be better to order everything through the builder uh, so that he could get those types of appliances on time i like the gray tile that they selected as well uh, i'll walk outside once we're done now they did select a different kind of nice wood floors And this looks like um, a luxury vinyl flooring. So in the model, I think this is a bedroom and downstairs is the den. 
So my clients went with the bedroom downstairs and the loft upstairs, which actually like this version better. Doesn't look like they added any extra can lighting in here. It is pre-wired for a ceiling fan and there is no Smurf tubing to hang a TV in here either. Hmm. Trying to touch up the paint. Here's one of the bedrooms. And the only lighting, extra lighting they have is the pre-wire for a ceiling fan. I don't know if you guys know what this is or if you ever see the upside down light fixtures. They call it half hot. One unit is working, the other one doesn't work unless it's turned on by the plug. So then you have the green plug right here. So if you were to have a night light or a light there and you can control it from here. And then this controls the lighting for the ceiling fan. Then you have the laundry room. Again, my clients ordered the appliances ahead of time. And these cabinets and countertops match the other bathrooms downstairs. And they went with just a, well, this is what the home was specced out was with this tub shower insert. But you have this champagne fixtures in the bathroom. And you have the, which is nice, then you have the black hardware fixtures on the doors, which I really like. Oops, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Then you have the primary, which is not that big. It's a good size. With the double vanity, the toilet. That's annoying. That's annoying too. I don't like any fans going on. Okay. So you got the large shower with the rain head and then the normal head. And then I like that it has a bench so I can shave my legs. And then I like these mirrors with the LED lights around it. The large double vanity with the undermount sinks, the same quartz countertops as the other bathrooms. Then the closet. It's okay size, decent size. Now the most important thing is the view. I've done model home tours of all of this community. There's three floor plans to choose from, plan one, two, and three. Um, so if you want to learn more or see what the model homes look like, you can just go to my YouTube channel. This is part of Summerlin West and barely you can see right there the strip and then there is, that's the Red Rock Casino right there. And then right here is you have Kings Canyon by TriPoint Homes and then you also have Overlook. Overlook is all single story homes and Kings Canyon is single and two story homes. Then you have the beautiful Red Rock Mountains that way. Now this home backs up to what's called an arroyo. An arroyo is the natural habitat desert. They're going to fix this up, make it look a little pretty, and also put a walking path all the way down there. There's going to be a, a park on the other side of the street. And I like that there's a nice linen area right here. Let's go outside and take a tour of the backyard. Sorry. Now my client spent extra money to have the floor epoxied. Um, this side, there's no gate on this side. You're going to have your gas meter, your water spigot, your Cox cable, your electrical panel. Oh good, they capped this. Nice little 
little courtyard. Right on the gate to go back here. When you buy new construction, the front yard is always landscaped, but the backyard is not landscaped and it only has pavers and the patio. It's a decent sized yard. You can probably fit a small pool. And here's the Arroyo again. Let's see what's on this side. This should be your two AC units. Let's take a peek from the back. So bright out. Alrighty, so to surmise, I'm over here at Arroyo's Edge by TriPoint Homes. This is the plan two. And the square footage for this plan too is 2126. You can have either three to four bedrooms with two and a half to three bathrooms and a two car garage. If you're thinking about buying new construction in Vegas, I sell a lot of new homes, especially in Summerlin. You can reach out to me at 702-370-5112. Also, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Peace out, folks.